You've heard people talk about a new normal and how restaurants have changed to adapt to the pandemic and beyond. Some of those changes are behind the scenes, others you can spot from the street. They're unique. We've really realized real quick how much everybody wanted to be outside. But all the same. They still want to go out, they just want to do it in a safe way. And they're catching on. We start throwing around ideas and the igloos got brought up and we're like, all right, let's look at them. Plastic igloos securely bolted to the ground. They're there, they don't, they don't go anywhere. Are one way for a restaurant to expand its footprint and offer COVID safe dining during the pandemic. It is an opportunity to dine with six to eight people that you're comfortable with, that you've, you've had experiences with, that you know, and then you can, you can basically be separated from everyone else. You know, we've worked with the fire department on the safety of them. We have fire extinguishers in them. Ed Bozinski is the owner of the Blarney, where he says team members put their heads together, then put these igloos together last fall. Trying to figure out, you know, what are we going to do and how can we be creative? Over at the Heights on top of the Renaissance Toledo, they'll tell you these igloos have been gaining in popularity over the past few years and popping up in larger towns, but it was really the pandemic that pushed them into the mainstream. Up here, the igloos are an icebreaker and a windbreaker, giving guests the chance to dine on top of Tea town even when the outdoors are not so inviting. We brought the igloos in about three and a half months ago, um, right as winter started. Uh, it was a, a pet project of ours. We attempted it last year. We're able to accomplish it this year. Consider it your dome away from home. We've been able to roll with the punches, so to speak, and really you know, provide the guests a good experience. But you have to do it with an optimistic outlook. If, if you go into something thinking positively, you're going to produce positive results. Just like igloos made of snow, these plastic ones will be gone come early spring. You can bet they will make a return in the fall. And you may start seeing more and more as a way to seat more customers during the winter months and offer a unique dining experience. For 2020 The Lost Year, I'm Tony Geftis.